3. Eat real food Another common mistake when eating a low-carb diet is getting fooled by the creative marketing of special low-carb products. Remember, an effective low-carb diet for weight loss should be based on real food, like this real food is what humans have been eating for thousands or, even better, millions of years, e.g. meat, fish, vegetables, eggs, butter, olive oil, nuts, etc. If you want to lose weight you'd better avoid special, low-carb products that are full of carbs. This should be obvious but creative marketers are doing all they can to fool you and get your money. They will tell you that you can eat cookies, pasta, ice cream, bread and plenty of chocolate on a low-carb diet as long as you buy their brand. They're full of carbohydrates. Don't be fooled. Bad food how about low-carb bread? Be careful. If it's baked with grains it's certainly not low-carb, but some companies still try to sell it to you as a low-carb option. Low-carb chocolate is usually full of sugar alcohols, which the manufacturer does not count as carbs, but roughly half of these carbs may be absorbed, raising blood sugar and insulin. The rest of the carbs ends up in the cologne, potentially causing gas and diarrhea. Furthermore, any sweeteners can maintain sugar cravings. Here are three fine examples of what to avoid. Atkins Fairy Tale Cookies Julian Bakery's High CARB Low CARB Bread The Dream Fields Pasta Fraud That Finally Resulted in an $8 Million Fine. These three companies are not unique. There are thousands of similar companies trying to trick you into buying their low CARB junk food full of starch, sugar alcohols, flour, sweeteners and strange additives. Two simple rules to avoid this junk, don't eat low CARB versions of high of CARB stuff like cookies, bars, chocolate, bread, pasta or ice cream unless you are sure of the ingredients, perhaps from making it yourself. Avoid products with the words, net carbs, on them. That's usually just a way to fool you. Focus on eating good quality, minimally processed real food. Ideally the food you buy shouldn't even have a list of ingredients, or it should be very short, 